Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Ruby Tuesday and also Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you guys all had a great holiday season um, and a Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, so Ruby Tuesday is tomorrow, January 3rd, and I'm up for first person for the new year. Um, so what I'd like to do today is Right now, I'm just having some personal time in my studio. My husband is home for the day, uh, and he is helping me with my children so that I can film this video. And what I really want to do today is just one, enjoy this like couple hours that I have in, in here, um, you know, and have some nice alone time. And um, I thought it would be a nice thing to do for my project to like set some intentions in here and in my journal. Um, and just play around with some pretty papers and have like a nice like relaxing meditative moment in here with just um, You know all of my Ruby and Pearl XO Papers um, I've chosen a couple here that I've already printed out that I thought I might like to use today and So yeah, I'm just gonna be creating a Spread or two. I don't know just playing around with a couple of pages in my journal and sort of with the intention or the idea in mind of wanting to write about just yeah goals and intentions for the new year and things that are i've been thinking about and um yeah we'll kind of just see where it goes from there so uh yeah i hope you like this little different intro i thought i'd just sh say hi and show my face on here although i know i look pretty tired it was gone all day yesterday at a, an event with my husband so um so yeah, I'm really just excited to be in here and having some alone personal time and get to do this project for Ruby and Pearl. It's so much fun. And my favorite thing to do is to play with these papers and cut things out and glue. And so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So if you want to journal with me, cool. Pull out your journal, get some digitals out, whatever you want. And let's just like have a nice little quiet moment for a little bit until I have to go back in my house all the craziness is <laughs> so I'm gonna put you on my little tripod tripod thingy and show you my desk view oh wait <laughs> here so yeah I'll see you in a minute
Okay, so I just quickly wanted to talk about what I what I did here. And so I've used one of the coin envelopes here and I just cut that out. You saw how easy that was to just cut out and quickly glue. I love using a glue stick for something like this. And this is the, I, I printed all of this just on regular printer paper. Um, I don't want to create too much bulk in this journal and it's just easy to print on printer paper. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I did. And what, I, what I'm doing with this image, this is from, I believe 38 Rue Bourbon. <clears throat> I printed this out because I really liked this. I, I'm going to imagine that this is like a mom and her little girl here. Such a pretty image and just all of the, I printed this really small. I want to say I did like five by seven or four by six or something on my printer and cut this little cutout is just so cute. It's like a smaller version of the full size. But anyway, um, so this is the image that I wanted to use and to express um, the journaling that'll go along with this. And I'll probably, you know, use utilize this space here and the back of this um, to write something. And I'll give you a little bit of personal information on what, what this means to me and, you know, how you can express things through imagery in your journals. And what I'm using this for is Something that I would like to do this year is spend a little bit more quality time with just my daughter and I. Like I would like to do some more like things with just her and I because before my son was born, we just had so much time together and like it was just such a special time where it was just her and I. And once my son was born, there's just, you know, it's a new baby. There's so much that the baby needs and you, you know, the focus kind of switches to the baby and whatnot but now he's 16 months so he's older he's getting to be a toddler and things are much easier now and you know he still has a lot of needs they both do but things are just easier now and so now i kind of want to set up like more like dates for her and i to do things and you know leave the baby at home so that i can just sort of like take her out to do more things or just even do like crafts at home with her where it's just her and I focusing on something and the um, her little brother can be entertained elsewhere. And yeah, so that's just that's just something that I would like to have in the new year, basically, is more one on one time with her. So that's what I'm, I'm going to write about in here. And I thought that this coin envelope was a perfect place for this small little paper and just like a nice way to keep this intention and this little journaling, I guess, um, in, in this book. And this book, by the way, is my like, uh, sort of planner slash goal setting journal. So this, this is where all of that type of stuff goes is in this particular book. So this is the perfect place for me to keep this little note in this cute little envelope. So I'll probably just paper clip this in something super easy. Um, and I can easily come back and look at this and remember what my intentions were and whatnot and when I when I occasionally do flip through this journal so that's that's one one portion of the journaling that I'd like to do for today and I'm gonna clip that in and keep going and see what else I come up with
This image here is from the Raspberry Rose Kit and it came from this page here. And I chose this because another one of my intentions for the new year and um, something that I would really like to do is to have more like quiet and meditative and like introspective moments for myself. I tend to come into my studio and immediately want to work on something that I was previously working on that I want to finish and you know or clean or something like that and I I would like to take more time in here to just really be still and journal a lot more and just yeah have more quiet moments where I can collect my thoughts and sort of like not feel this mad rush to complete a task that was left unfinished so that's what this image like sort of expresses for me is to just like calm chill like take more time for yourself to just be like you know with yourself and your thoughts and in silence in a good positive way like just sometimes my life can be so loud and chaotic with my children and this reminds me that I need to like take time for myself in whatever way that means but I like to I do enjoy like having quiet alone moments so and also another thing that um, my husband and I actually committed to doing this year is taking one morning every week we'll see how long it lasts but starting now one one morning every week we are going to be waking up before our kids wake up and we're going to be doing a yoga class using like an app that I have on my iPad so we're going to get up and early in the morning and set out some yoga mats and just do a quick like 15 to 20 minute yoga class where we can kind of like set our day up you know with a nice meditative quiet and lovely thing to do for ourselves um, before our day begins so I can't wait for that that's starting this week we we said Wednesdays are going to be our day and so yeah I hope that that's something that we can stick to and so the, this 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 is what this reminds me of is just like all these commitments to sort of like um taking time for yourself in, in a peaceful and loving way so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here and just glue that in All right, so I think I'm gonna be almost done here and I'll just quickly go over what I just did. And this one here, this is also from Raspberry Rose. This image here, the reason I chose this is because what this looks like to me, I think it's it says good morning mama right here. Like this is the mom and child here and she looks like maybe she has like an apron on or something. So maybe she's like a helper or like a nanny or of some sort or something like that. But what this m makes me feel like is it reminds me of the intention that I have this year to be more of service to other people. And 
by that I mean like I want to open myself myself up and be available to people that I love that you know may need something like right now I'd like to be of more help to my mom in certain ways um, that I think you know she needs and even to like friends of mine I have um, mom friends who have just had a baby and things like that so I just this image to me reminds me of how I would like to be of available to be of service and to help um, other people because I feel like I've had so much help in my life and I've had so many great and amazing friends, family, etc. that have just helped me so much in so many different ways and especially going through this whole period of like having children that's been major for me so now that I feel like I'm in kind of a good place with that I would like to be of help to others so this reminds me to kind of like be aware of when there might be a need for help and to make myself available in those moments so that my friends and family know that I'm someone that you know is available for help or you know just is is available for them period so that's that's what that one means to me and that's why I put that there and then this is some travel washi so it's just this roll of travel washi here and like little um like little I don't know what, what would you call these like tickets like airline yeah airline tags right so cute um but we're gonna be doing some traveling this year hopefully if all things go well and we can plan um some trips so we have some exciting things possibly coming this summer and so this kind of just like reminds me of our travel plans and something fun that we're doing this year and then the background images that I chose I chose these yellow yellows from the golden leaves kit because for some reason like I feel like my color of the year this year is yellow I am so drawn to yellow I don't know why um, I have a like new paint color that I really love here let me show you it's this like crazy yellow metallic color and just I'm just like loving yellow right now so I, I put just yellow from the golden leaves kit in here because it just reminds me of a color that I would like to work with and I feel like it's going to be a little challenging to be honest um so yeah I'm excited to kind of figure out what I can do and what magical things I can make with um yellow tones so the golden leaves kit absolutely gorgeous one of my favorites and I think it just looks cool in this spread so here's my little coin envelope I'm gonna clip that back in and so yeah this was just a super easy spread you know I'm I'm probably gonna use this for some journaling space and I won't show that and I'm gonna write my intentions on the back of that image that I showed earlier with the little girl and her mom and this here kind of I don't need to write anything about it, it just says I can look at this and know exactly what you know I, I, I meant by this and so yeah so that's my journaling for the day and my intentions for the new year. I have some more, but that's just what I wanted to express in this spread. Finding like images sometimes is easier for me to express myself than writing a whole bunch of stuff down with words. So yeah, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that maybe it helps you kind of figure out a way to express yourself differently. So have a lovely day everybody happy ruby tuesday and i'll see you next time bye okay guys so i know we just said goodbye but i'm adding this clip in at the end because i left and ate some lunch and then i came back and i decided i wanted to add a little bit more to this so to kind of finish this off um, and it just feels more finished to me this way is I added my that yellow paint that I mentioned that I'm just loving right now isn't it so crazy like look how bright it is I just kind of slap that around because like I said the yellow is just my inspiration right now and I don't know I guess I just wanted like a little reminder of this paint color and then I added this little card here and I felt like it just went with the thoughts and feelings behind this if that makes sense and then 
here I added just the um, the year on here and I'm gonna do some journaling in here um, I added my daughter's name to the envelope because that's kind of like my special intentions for her and then this is just a little um, tag that came off of a like exercise like workout um, set that my sister bought for me for Christmas so it's like leggings and a sports bra and I just love it so much and um, she got it for me um, because she said that she was proud of me for all the like fitness stuff that I had been doing in 2022 so I want to keep that up in 2023 and so yeah I put that in here as well just kind of as like a reminder to keep going with kind of what I've been doing lately which is just some little workouts here and there so overall now I feel like it's complete I feel like this is what my intentions for the year and like what this year is, represents to me so far and like the thoughts and feelings that I have so far ab about what I want to happen this year so yeah I can you know if I have any any other any other things I want to add I can create a new spread behind this and so yeah, I just wanted to show you what um, what all I added. Oh, and I added this little, this is a little flower from Patchwork Paper Co. Uh, she, I don't know if she still has these available. They're from a long time ago. She sent me this wonderful happy mail and I pull out her little flowers every now and again and throw them in my journal spreads. So go check her out. Um, so now it's really goodbye. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.